Cool. But yeah, no, it's a pretty cool weapon. If you're rocking a faith build that has quite a bit of decks, not bad. Can be quite fun. I played around with it a little bit. Oh, damn. Almost done it. How you doing up there, Jim Bob? You cool? Just hacking? Yeah, there's no Blight Town bridges here. Man, that really does suck, though. I don't mind coming up here now and not having to backtrack. I love what I'm going to have to do with Satsuki and the Makoto. But I was kind of hoping to show off why this area is kind of tough. Whoop, that could be bad. Yeah, fuck it, let's just take the expressway. Okay, so yeah, if you try to beat um, Big Man here, you might have some problems. Also, as you can guess, there's going to be a recurring theme in regards to ambushes. Yeah, I had a feeling that might happen. So two arrows to take him out, right? Huh, interesting. Now let's have a look. We're just going to take a random guess. Huh. Oh, you on the other hand. I guess we can't. Okay, so no, he, they, they were in there, we just couldn't hit them. Well, that's kind of lame. Yeah, you want to trade? Ow, that was a mistake. Man, I say ow and it barely fucking hurt me. That's a shame. Hmm, maybe I should have done this earlier. Yeah, you know what, I blame myself for doing all 4-2 in one go. That's what made me so fucking overleveled. Hmm. It's more a matter of, I wanted to make this, well, watchable for you guys. Cause... It might not have been. There would have been a lot more dying, which I guess is probably what people actually want to see in this kind of playthrough, but... Yeah. Hey, cool. Marrowstone. Fucking rad. Someday. I assume that's referring to the pure stuff. Or the chunks. Ah. Leeches. Not bloodborne slugs though. No, these are quite different. They're actual genuine leeches. Amazing. So there, yeah, that was weird. So, let's have a look at a marrow stone. A shard of very thin shape. A sharp ore. Fucking Christ, uh. Enhances daggers, knives, spears, and so on. An ore used to make close range stabbing weapons that easily deliver crit yeah, critical strikes. Thought to be crystallized minerals that form inside human blood. So marrow stone is something that never came back because in Dark Souls it would be kind of fucking broken. Especially with the uh, parry meta of Dark Souls 3. Um, it ups your crits like it said and it's used for daggers and I believe thrusting swords. So, if you had the secret dagger, which we established has a higher crit rate than anything else in the whole fucking game, and then make it fatal, you're going to one-shot a lot of stuff. Now, from memory, there is no hornet ring in this game. Or no equivalent, I think. Let's try this. Yeah, not worth it. Let's, yeah, let's tank some hits just to demonstrate. Let's allow him to hit us. So yeah, like, then he's not doing insignificant damage, and if we came here without our whopping 24 vitality, uh, yeah, that'd be doing a lot more. Okay, yeah, so I'm totally right. Starting points down there, we can have a little encounter below. Wait, no, maybe I'm getting it confused, I don't know which way leads out. Needless to say, we're going to a boss room, and to go out the boss room, since it's deeper into the valley. Yeah, so the... Oh, neat. So the main reason I, um, I've been putting this off is because if I died at a boss a few times, you're not going to run this, and if you are, you know what you're doing. This is like a lawn levels of you better be on point if you're not killing shit. Because boy oh boy, is this something. Alright, now I don't know how useful any of these are going to be. Potentially the Thief Ring. Yeah, fuck it, why not? Alright, let's top off. Now, we aren't going to need poison, because the boss does not use it. 
However, turpentine might be fucking rad. Um, look, that's not gonna help. I think we'll go the axe. Alrighty, boss time. Let's have a look at what awaits. Hey Marcus, you're looking great ever since Wesker and uh, Birkin killed you. Looking very cool, man. So, uh, meet Leechmonger. He's not very tough. Also, I like this music quite a bit. Let's show off some of the mechanics he can do. He's not gonna... Well, he probably shouldn't be doing a um, an adjudicator where he's gonna fucking murder me for a wall, but you never know. Now, fire arrows. Let's just see if we can display something. Wow. Okay, we're going to want it back up. So, he no like fire. He's got a few interesting mechanics to uh, observe as this fight goes on. I'm hoping he will show it. Well, he just showed it then. It wasn't very obvious, but if you look at his health bar, he regen. Yep, uh, wacky wavy, waving inflatable arm um, to whatever the fuck the family guy joke is. Alright, so yeah, he hates fire. We're gonna get up in his grill, which is the hardest way to do this fight. So I don't know what attack he's gone for. He's gone for that attack. So this is now becoming a Four Kings style fight. You will notice I'm covered in leeches. They will slowly drain away my health. So well that's cool. We're gonna take some of this, and we're just gonna try to tank it. I'm hoping he can show off a few more of his mechanics. Weirdly enough, he didn't do what he normally does. On the way down, he'll shoot leeches at you. So maybe we'll back up in a second. Because I don't want to end this right now. Is that the regen? No, that's the explosion. The leech explosion. Alright, now let's back up. W want to give him a chance. So yeah, I'm absolutely fucking covered in leeches. And again, if I didn't have such good stamina, this would be fucking my guard up. Alright, now, unlike Adjudicator, I feel safe enough to demonstrate some of his mechanics. So yeah, there we go. As you can see, he launched some leeches at me, so that's, a uh, that's, that's fun. And, uh, that's a fight. Yeah, so not very tough. But at the same time, you wanna, you don't, you wanna take him somewhat seriously. Oh, great club, neat. There is treasure ahead. I'm sorry that seems so anticlimactic anti after I built this area up. But, you know. So there's an interesting mechanic I learned that happens with this boss. And it's not actually the boss itself. Supposedly, the more enemies you kill that fall down, or rather just fall by themselves, will spawn more items in the boss room. Now, I don't know how true that is. Seems like it could be true, given all the bodies. But, I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like another weird mechanic that maybe never came back. And I say maybe, because who knows if it's true or if it's a fucking lie. Anyway, that's all that. Yeah, again, sorry if that seemed anticlimactic and seemed kind of like... Oh, well, wasn't that fucking tough? Yeah, I know. I was kind of expecting a bit more of a challenge. Yeah, sorry. Rickling Demon Soul. We'll look at it even though we know what it's gonna fucking say. Should be right near the bottom, yeah? Weird how Armor Spider Soul is underneath. Yeah, same thing, just... The Demon Leech Monger. I'm lost. We're all lost, aren't we? Ah oh, well. We won't be lost if we find God. Perhaps we can find God in this putrid shithole. Don't go forward without good resistance to, uh, to the bullshit. True that. Danger, watch yourself. Hmm. Now, I'm not thinking... Wait, hold on. What the fuck happened here? What did you guys do? The hell?
Oh. Yeah, but that, that, uh, that might happen. So yeah, um, bugs. What are insects over here? Let's just have a look inside. To uh, demonstrate what a shithole. Nani, sneak attack. What could he possibly mean? The enemy stand user couldn't be too close. Where could they be? I wonder. Oh, hey. <laughs> Yourself. Yeah. That's a lizard over there. He's a shit. Let me climb back up, I forget. Alright, so... Hey, again, I'm starting my sentences the same fucking way. Yeah, you'll recognize that from the previous area. Ah, if only we could make a shortcut. So, I'm just gonna say it up front. You're gonna notice there is a lot of torches around this place. Over there is a little city, basically. That's the uh, most black towny looking area, I suppose, in terms of, like, civilization. It's got, like, actual huts and everything. It's pretty cool. We have to go all the way around the swamp. It's pretty fucking tough. And that there is the lizard that will give us a pure faint stone if we are lucky. You get four respawns, so, like, I'm pretty sure it's pretty much guaranteed. Now, I forget if we can climb back up, so I hope I'm not delving too deeply. Um, speaking of FromSoft Greatest Hits, um, two things you will notice about the swamp. You might have already noticed one of them, I don't know. Hey, I'm not you. Forgive me. I'm well versed in these games mechanics, so... Oh yeah, those guys too. Yeah, they're pretty interesting. Hmm. So, one thing you're noticing right now. We are slow as fuck. Two, you're about to notice something else. Which is why having something like the Israel is very useful. We'll grab you in a second. Yeah. From Soft Greatest Hits. Now, once I grab this item, I will display one other thing that might not be too apparent. That makes this swamp a little worse than the one in Blight Town. Now we're far away from the lizard and probably won't scare it. Fingers crossed. Hmm. So, I made a big deal about the giant depraved ones. Hmm. Now, you didn't get to see it from the little ones. But, in this area, enemies are not affected in the same way we are by the swamp. They won't get poisoned, and they won't get slowed down. So, that's a fun time. Hmm. Now, this should be... Yep, the Mirden Hammer. I think the Halberd's in this level, I forget. Oh well. Now, mid and hammer, generally speaking, as a rule of thumb, is much better than the normal halberd, but... Eh, I like halberds. They're fun. We'll walk a little bit further. We'll go over there, I think. So, we'll have a look at those jellyfish guys in a second. You know what? Fuck this. Didn't mean to do that. Let's have a look. How are we doing... We are still losing health, but it's basically one a second. So as you can see, you can totally beat it. Hell, we can totally beat it now. What the fuck am I doing? Let's put on one of our two talismans of God. Let's go over to this. Hey, I didn't even fucking need water veil, did I? Radio, let's have a look. We are now beating the poison. Sick. Sick, sick, sick. I'm thinking I might go to one little area in particular, then we'll back out. Yeah, haha, <laughs> fuck you. I just want to punctuate before we go any further. Um, before we go to 2-2 two -two later on, but this place is a shithole. So this is the bottom of Blight Town, except way worse. Because this is pretty oppressive. This is some fucking darkness. Like, look, there's nothing... It's not like New Londo in Dark Souls 1 where you can see, like, a, a stream of light coming through, like, the destroyed roof. It's fucking pitch black down here. So this is where everyone 
like who's unwanted gets tossed. It's the proto-painted world, effectively. So boy, that fucking sucks for all these poor people. It really does. Yeah, that's about what I was looking for. Alright, we'll see how we go against her. If I die, I die. I'm really hoping I don't. So I forget which island this is. There she is. Alright, so I was talking about how enemies aren't affected by the swamp. Unfortunately, this applies to her too. Because, fuck it. Oh, hey, we beat poison. We managed to avoid poison. So this, um, lady over here, because that's what she is, is wielding the meat cleaver that we could make from the adjudicated salt. Hence, the reason we are going to 4-2 after this. Sorry, 2-2. Because I want to fucking make some boss weapons finally to show them off. Broken sword. Huh, crazy. Now I'm hoping she'll come over here. That'd be nice. I won't be needing that, so let's put on the Royal Lotus. That's kind of what I figured I had. Alright, where are you? Let's cast it again, because fuck it. There she is. Now let's take some of this. Oh, wait, what? Boy, I'm fucking clever, aren't I? <laughs> Got rid of the thing I said I didn't need. And we completely wasted the turpentine. Sick. Yo, lady. Oh, so we just kind of missed her. Not 15. So she is wearing a ragged set. Make about what you will. Now the machete. The great machete. Um, the butcher's knife. Whatever you want to call it. Also deals magic damage. I'm pretty sure I explained this previously. As you can see, it will deal a fuck ton of stamina damage too. It will also deal a fuck ton of damage as is on top of that. Please don't fucking die. I gotta heal. Fucking Christ. Yeah, had a feeling. Boy, that was clever. That yellow aura every time she hit, hit us was recovering. Well, meant she was recovering HP. So that's cool. Boy, that was clever to come in here. Yeah, well. Guess I'm showing what a piece of shit this place is. Okay, well. The plan is, we grab our souls, we get the fuck out. Because I don't want to do this area yet. Oh great, we uh, don't have arch a shot of Archstone because I'm fucking clever. Alrighty then, let's go. Time to speed run this shit. I mean, I could just leave them, but fuck that. No. No, I'm not doing that. They're my souls, damn it. I worked hard for them. You'll lose your souls time and time again. Like a moth, your wings will burn in... Yeah, we get it, okay. I understand. I'm a soul-starved monster. I care about my souls. I get a Dark Souls too, don't worry. Uh, I don't mind the intro of Dark Souls 2. I reckon it's, it's a really nicely animated intro, though. It's so fucking beautiful. I love it. So that's a bloodstain over there, I believe. No, that can't be it. We're, we've got to be over that way. Oh, while we're at it. Whoops, wrong thing. Oh, yeah, I never looked at this, did I? Oh, perfect time to talk about it. So, no real bearing on our resistances, it appears. Which is odd. So, Saint Ro Saint's robe. Saint's attire. White clothes of especially high-ranking saints. Worn when making appearances to teach or perform holy works while traveling. The strong fabric is made from many layers of cloth bundled together. While we're at it. Yeah, so it's urbane stuff. Now, I was going to talk about this earlier, so now's the perfect time. So you'll remember, and we were looking at stuff like that earlier with the uh, with the chain set. So let's see, you can run, by the way, just like this. I forgot, mostly because it's really fucking awkward to do, and if you fuck it up, you do that. So you know that's cool. Um, the chain set um, says it impedes stamina regen, which yeah is true. Now the problem with that statement. 
Well, problem with that in general is you have sets like what I'm wearing right now and the Saint set that do not state the fact that that they do that, which is kind of a problem. Now, is that the island where enemies are? No. War scythe. Thank you. We'll grab this. So up ahead. Yeah, there's a fleet of jellyfish. Poison jellies or something they're called like that. Beware formidable foe. Yeah, well, we've met her. She's a, she's a, you know, piece of work, ain't she? Now I'm hoping we can grab them before we she sees us. Because I need to do some ring management. In fact, we're going to back the fuck up, and then we'll work out what we're doing from here. I'm going to beat her, then we'll leave. It's going to be a fucking trek, but... Alright, well, first and foremost, Feast Ring is not going to help right now. In fact, I wanted to see me from further away, so she'll come over here and fight me. Which is probably an incredibly dumb thing to say. Also, we're going to do this. Actually, wait, no, the fuck we're not. I was, uh... Let's see, can we will this? No. I was going to put on my, on the mace we picked up, in addition, so we'd recover a bit more HP while fighting her, but fuck that, we'll just cast regeneration again. That's still going, so we can't. Now let's see if we can find her. We're going to two-hand this. There she is. You can make her out just there. Also, yeah, like Blight Town and, um, Farron Keep, there's some weird places where You'll, um, take poison damage. You'll start building up poison when you shouldn't be. Okay, here we go. Oh, fuck. Well, this was, uh, this was clever. Alright. Let's put up a dukes, and we'll try to bait a swing. Fucking Christ, man. Yeah, this was, uh, this was short-sighted. Yep, yep. Alright, well, fuck this. So she, I think she's faster than us. Which, uh, yeah, is a bit of a problem, but that doesn't matter if we're heading back home, does it? She gave up? She gave up. Well, uh, hmm. Keep in mind this is the easy version because I'm pure white. At least until I leave. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if this is me with my proverbial tail between my legs, but I think I demonstrated that this place is not to be fucked with. So these are the jellies, while we've got time. You kill them, they stay dead. There's a good chance they will drop some lotuses of some descript. Mostly royal and widows. I don't believe they drop soldiers, um, soldiers lotus, but I could be wrong. Could be super wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm correct. So they're not very tough. We can one-shot them pretty handily. Hmm. We'll do this. Flaming tree, eh? Cool. I feel like there's some biblical reference in there. Let's see, we'll kill one and see if, see how much we take from getting hit once. Go on, do it. So not that much, but if you get hit by multiple, that would not be a fun time. There's an item up ahead. Wait, what? Okay, yeah, you're a different one. I had not killed. Good. I thought I was going nuts for a second. Hmm. Yeah, Valley of Defilement, eh? Okay, well, I'm happy we uh, grabbed this, because this demonstrates something else. Uh, you probably saw it back there, because yeah, that's where we got the hammer. You can make out the lizard. So this is big-ass wall, preventing you from just running to the shortcut. This is a case of, no, do the level, you fucking coward. Because we don't have a lot of choice in the matter. We're doing the level. Just not today. I'd rather get 2-2 two -two sorted. Then I'll probably do 3 2. Yeah. Probably. We've got to go back to Boletarian Palace eventually, and we totally can right now. In fact, you know what? 
I'll probably end up doing 1-3 after 2-2, two, because two, it's not actually that hard. And because we get our last magic teacher there, who I've been holding out on for a long time, and half the reason I duped most of the souls. Because she is a cool person. In spite of all the tragic stuff that happened to her. And it also gives me something else to talk about. Right, well I think we've murked enough of these guys. So I was talking about the flaming tree. Now over there, there is a ton of fun. ton of depraved ones, including a big ass giant one. If you're playing this area on pure black, there is a pure black depraved one on that little island. Oh yeah, so they do that. That's cool. Um, yeah, he's fucking tough. He's as tough as Black Phantom Chan over there. But, yeah, we're, uh, we're leaving. As we have established, Valley is not to be trifled with. Boy, am I happy you can do this. Like, look, I'm just thinking, I don't, I don't think it's going to be particularly fun. I'm going to have to throw myself at that Black Phantom a few times. It's going to be a fucking slog. We'll come back when I'm a little stronger. I'm sorry if this seems like an act of cowardice, but... There's... You know, I, I want to leave this area to a little later, because it feels more thematically appropriate, too. So I guess we're going for our little shonen training arc after this. Ha ha ha. Eh. Unfortunately, we're not One Punch Man. We can't just... We're not Saitama. We can't just fucking beast. And even then, he'd probably feel bad for these guys. He'd probably feel bad they don't know the, the joys of getting a deal at the shops. I haven't fucking watched One Punch Man in years. I never watched the second season. Hope it was still good. Anyway, that's enough about anime. We are done with this part. There is one thing we shall do, though. Well, two things. First of all... We're gonna spend some souls. I can probably get a level. Maybe two? Hey, man. Can't even get one level. I Holy shall, shit. That's how fucking overpowered I am, technically. Rightio. Well, in that case... We are gonna dupe the wriggling demon soul. What's the gonna wander over. You so you select to buy the grass. I'm going over this again because fuck it. Even if you can't, the dialogue box that is enough. You hit square to use the binding. Hit start instead of pressing X. Talk to Thomas. Go to your consumable or, um, well, uh, what am I forgetting? Like, fucking ore to a deposit. Select OK. Mash the fuck out. We are indebted. Right here. And we have duped the Wriggling Demon Soul. Which can only make one thing, which is a little odd. Oh yeah, we got a chunk. Cool. Broken sword can get out. Bless me, this, this. This can go. This trail might actually be quite handy later on. We'll show off War Scythe. It's nothing special. It's identical, basically, to what we've got. Mm-hmm. There we go. Now let's check. Yeah, so I talked about this earlier on, but yeah. Duplicates of rings and stuff. Cool. I like it, personally. Seems like a bit of a waste to some people, I know, but I don't mind it. Now, we learned previously you want to have some of these if you get invaded which I'm not going to be at risk of having occur because well I'm not human so uh you know what I'll human up just after this I'll also back out and I think I'll change the tendency to neutral oh well, I'll have a think before we go alrighty you know what this is getting a little annoying so let's just go do this now I'm sorry I'll, I'll handle the item management later but at least it gave me a chance to talk about my plans you have your witch up. Yep. Suffray. Poison Cloud. Spell from the demon Leechmonger's soul. Generates a poison cloud. Hey, guess what it does? It generates a poison cloud. Did you know that it generates a poison cloud? I don't think it works on the boss mm. in 2 2, but you never know. Maybe it does. So we're going to cast this away from them. It's exactly what you think it is. It's Poison Cloud from Dark Souls. 
Oh, sup, girl. Yeah, shut up. Hey, if you couldn't tell the female, despite the fact I explicitly stated that, I'm pretty sure. Hey, yeah, guess what? They're a female, huh? Hmm, weird. All right, well, I meant to talk about this earlier, so let's just fucking do it now. You, she's rotating, so this makes it kind of annoying. But there we go. I think. Yep. There we go. Fucking maiden, come on. On her um, right leg, you will notice, just above the foot, around the ankle, she is wearing a little black band. Hey, guess what that is? She's bound just like us. The Monumental said that way at the start. So that's just to punctuate the yet totally the case. Anyway, we're stopping here. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say see you, see you in a bit, but this will be like a day later, the next part, so. But in the meantime, uh, I learned how to sigh at least. Just give, give the old shrug. Catch you later, gang. Bye.